just like he promised a rail revolution in the north. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, who knows? Who knows if he'll make it to the next election? But if he does, how does he expect anyone to take him and his promises seriously? Prime Minister, uh, Mr. Speaker, yet again he raises the the rail revolution in in the north, and uh, uh, it, 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 the three new high-speed lines, Mr. Speaker. 96, 96, 96 billion pounds. Nothing like it. Again, nothing like it. Nothing like it. Nothing like it, Mr. Speaker. Nothing like it for a century. And and and, and just uh, just for the advantage of, of uh, I didn't I didn't even know this. I was in a state of complete innocence about this last week, Mr. Speaker. But it turns out that the right honourable gentleman actually campaigned against yeah. HS2 altogether. Said it would be devastating and said it should be cancelled. I can tell you something, Mr. Speaker. HS2 runs through my constituency as well. And I took a decision, even though it's been very tough for my constituents, I took it I could have took a decision that it was in the right, it was the right thing to do for the long-term interests of the whole country. How can they possibly trust that man? Mr. S- Mr. Speaker, I think he's lost his place in his notes again. The, the only the, the only thing